Hello, good morning, good afternoon, evening, wherever you're tuning in from. My name is Rain Short. I'm tuning in from Los Angeles, California, so it is bright and early for us. You can comment where you're coming from, comment anything you're looking for for class today. Um, if you're new, welcome to Wellness Wednesdays by Russian Point. Again, my name is Rain. I'll be leading the flow today. It's about a 20 to 30 minute flow designed to get you feeling really good, warm in your body, just the muscles feel strong, lengthen, long. That's what we're going for. So all you'll need for class today is your flexi stretcher and something comfortable to lay on. So a yoga mat, a towel, whatever that might be. Um, if you don't have a flex stretcher, you're more than welcome to follow along with class, just as is with no prop. The flex stretcher is designed to help you find correct alignment, help deepen all of your stretches, help find more activation through your whole body. A lot of the exercises can still be done without it, but you'll see at the end some of them that are specifically tailored to use with the flexi stretcher, and that's when you'd want to go and grab yours or um, just tune along and keep watching if you don't have one of your own. Also, if you don't have one, we are still shipping, so if you're interested in placing an order, we'll be continuing these classes so you can tune in for the rest of the month. You can tune in through June to follow along every Wednesday here for Wellness Wednesdays, and then Fridays over at Flexi Stretchers um, for our Flexibility Fridays. Cool. So hello everyone, I saw one request for extensions. Yes, we will keep working on lengthening, especially through the lower body today. Great. So like I said, class today will be about a 20 to 30 minute flow, all designed around the flex stretcher to get you feeling good. Um, if you are new, I'm gonna talk through the flex stretcher a little bit. If you're accustomed to me going through this, grab a sip of water, whatever you need. Cool. So here we have the flex stretcher. This is the neoprene center. This makes it really comfortable when it comes around our shoulders for things like extensions, for our splits, whatever that might be. We have our elastic center here. This is the most important part of the flex stretcher I want you to pay attention to, this, this entire flow. So every time the flex stretcher goes out, I want you to maintain the activation your muscles find to slowly, slowly, slowly bring it back into your center. We'll practice that more when we get started. You have your metal loops, so when you hear me say, grab your metal loops, this is where I want your hands to go. Super simple, no adjustment needed. Similarly, these are your adjustable loops. So if you hear me say grab for the loops, grab these loops. This comes with the adjustable slider on the side with our little FLX guy, rubber stopper at the end so this can't slide off. To adjust, all you have to do is take your middle finger and your thumb to the side, index finger to the top, pull it closer to the elastic center. If you wanna make it more challenging, you're making the strap shorter so you're increasing your resistance. If you want to extend your resistance for a bigger range of motion or somewhere where you know you're working on your flexibility, grab your opposite hand and pull it away from the elastic center. Always make sure to adjust your loop by pulling the free end through, free end through to make sure that the loop isn't so big that something will slide through. Okay, so without further ado, we're going to go ahead and get class started. If you have any more questions, quick write them down now. I will be turning off the comments as we start class so it doesn't get in the way of where I'm practicing, but then I'll turn them on again at the end of class so you can write anything you're working on, anything you have questions about. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and turn those off now and go find your way to your mat. We are going to start standing today. So grab a hold of your flexi stretcher. Take a moment to just feel your feet directly underneath your hips. You can lift your shoulders up towards your ears, let them lower down along the spine. And then we'll go ahead and take the flex stretcher out in front of us. So we're gonna hold on to the elastic center. We're gonna pull it out wide. And just like I did in the beginning, maintain this activation, just slowly let it come back through center. Good, pull it out wide, pause, feel the muscles that activate. And then as you slowly come in, notice what muscles might change in activation and sometimes even get more intense. Good. So we'll pull it out wide. Keep the shoulders down. Keep the rib cage pulling in. Let it come back through center. Two more. Pull out wide. Slowly let it come back through center. Keep lifting up tall. Keep the torso long and lengthen. We're standing as tall as we possibly can. Good. Last time. Slowly let it come back through center. Feel how the back has to activate while you move through it. 
Good, let the arms come up and overhead. Take a moment to check in on your alignment. Pull the rib cage and let the shoulders come up towards the ears and then melt down along the spine. And we're gonna pull both arms out. Maintain that activation. Feel the lats down the back stay active as you pull up through center. Good, we'll take four more. Pulling out, lifting back up. Keep the shoulders down, away from the ears. Last two times, pulling up, lifting back up. Last one, pulling out. When you get to the top, pausing here, take a deep breath in. Let the arms come up, lengthen out of the spine, and then pull the body over towards the right side. Keep your top shoulder down away from your ear. Really feel the length along the left side of the body. Lift back up through center. We'll take a deep breath in, lift up tall, and then fold the body over towards the left. Feeling length along the right side of the body. Keep your right shoulder down away from your ear. Lift up. From here, we're just gonna move from the top part of the spine. So we're gonna curl the body forward, and then lift up and out through the chest as we extend. Good, taking that into a little bit of a circle. We'll lift up and out. Pull the body over towards the right side. From here, round your upper body forward, open up to the left, open up slightly behind you, come up through center. Taking that the other way, we'll lift up and out, pull the body over towards the left side, gently roll through center, over to the right, find your way back, slightly lift back through center. From here, we're gonna let the arms come down in front of us, slowly fold forward, and then let them come back up through center. You can slowly begin to extend a little bit more back than you found in the beginning as we begin to open up the shoulder. This whole time, I really want you to focus on the core and those rib cage drawing in. So you're maintaining your alignment of standing up as tall as you possibly can as you let the arms move forward and back. The last time, you know, the arms come up. Slowly let the arms come back down. From here, we're just gonna let the flex stretch relax at the top of our mat. Let it lay wide with the straps coming out to the side. And we're gonna step all the way to the back of our mat. Let the arms come up and overhead, the palms join. Exhale, slowly roll your whole body down, curling the chin into the chest. Bending the knees as you get to the bottom, and then once the hands touch the floor, walking them out. They can come past, they can come on, they can come behind your flexi stretcher, wherever you might have laid it. The hands are directly underneath the shoulders, the knees are reaching back and the heels are reaching towards the back wall. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, walk the hands back to your forward fold. Inhale, roll up through the spine. Let the arms come up and overhead. We'll take that one more time. Tuck the chin into the chest, slowly begin to roll. Once the hands come down to the floor, walking them out into your full plank. Exhale, push back down when facing down. Walk out the feet a little bit. From here, we'll let the right leg lift, but keep the toes pointing down towards the floor, and then step the right foot through in between the hands. Grab a hold of the elastic center of your flexi stretcher. Reach the arms out, forward, and up as you come into your high lunge. Take a moment to bend your back left leg. Engage your core so much that your hips come underneath you, and then straighten your back leg from there. You should really find more length along the front of the left hip flexor. Take a deep breath in. You can twist the body over towards the right. Keep the lower body where it is. We're just twisting through the torso. Another deep breath in, back up through center. Lift the chest up and out, finding a slight back bend. Exhale, release the hands forward towards the floor. Fingertips will come down and then straighten both legs as the weight comes back into the left leg. You're on the fingertips. Your body can stay here if the back stays long and lengthened or you can bring it into a forward fold and relax over your front leg. Roll the body forward, take a bend in your right leg. Plant both hands down, step your right leg back. Exhale, push back into your downward facing dog. 
From here, let the left leg come up and back behind you, toes stay pointed down. And then bring that foot to the inside part of the left thumb. Set up your stable base and then grab a hold of your elastic flexor stretcher. Reach those arms up and out. Take a little bend in your back right knee. Engage the core, bring the hips underneath you as much as you possibly can. And then extend, extend, extend that back right leg long. Good, feeling the length along the front side of that right hip flexor. And then exhale, twist the body over towards your left leg. So the lower body stays exactly where it is, and through the rib cage, the upper body, we're twisting over towards the left side. Inhale, come back through center. Lift the chest up and out, finding a bit of an extension through the chest. Lifting up in the back. Exhale, release the hands down towards the floor. Fingertips come down onto your mat. Straighten your back leg, sorry, straighten your left leg. Bring your weight into your back leg. Lengthen through the chest to begin and pausing here. If you want to go deeper, begin to forward fold your whole body over the legs. Finding your breath where you're feeling it in the leg the most, through the back of the left hamstring. Really draw that left hip back and the right hip forward so the hips are staying square. Take a bend in your front knee as you bring the chest back up through center. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, release hands down to the floor. Left foot steps back, pausing in your plank. A deep breath in. Exhale out. Put the knees lower down towards the floor. We'll grab a hold of our flexi stretcher and adjust it so the arms are lengthened enough, or the loops are lengthened enough to come around your arms and behind your back. My test for this is taking the foam of the flex stretcher behind my back, taking my right hand to my right loop, my left hand to my left, and when I stretch my arms forward, there should be some tension. If you have any slack, take it off, make them a bit tighter, readjust. If you can't straighten your arms, do that set. So we'll take our hands down to the floor, the knees are directly underneath your hips. Take a deep breath in, let the belly button lower, let the gaze come forward. Exhale, round through the spine, push the back away, really push the shoulder blades into that flexi stretcher. Deep breath in, belly button lower, gaze comes down. Exhale, round through the spine. Deep breath in, belly button lower, gaze comes up. Exhale, lift. Good, take two more. Deep breath in, belly button lower. Exhale, round. Last one, belly button lower, gaze comes up. Exhale, round the back, push the shoulder blades into the flexi stretcher. Come back to your neutral spine. Take a moment to feel broad and lengthen through the chest and then we'll reach our right leg back behind us. Begin to tip forward and backwards on that right foot as we just massage the lower part of the foot and the leg. Really reaching your heel long and back behind you, rolling through the foot forward and back. We'll let our right knee lower down more to our left leg back. Same thing, tipping forward and back. Every time you go back, lengthening that heel long and back behind you, just trying to warm up the bottom of the foot. Good, from here, reach your left leg long and back behind you, step your right leg back to meet it, pausing in your plank. You can always lower the knees a little bit for some more support, or keep the knees lifted wherever you're at today. From here, we're gonna take all of our weight onto our right hand, come to the outside part of the right foot, the inside part of the left foot, for a more supported side plank. You can lower your right knee if you want even more support. From here, we're gonna thread our left arm through, and then lift it back up through center. Good, lift the left arm up, out, and away, the thread through, lift it back up. We'll take three more. Really feel that resistance kind of hugging your back as you roll forward. Last two. Keep the hips lifting up high towards the ceiling, last one. Back up through center. We'll let your top left hand come down towards the floor right away to the outside part of the left foot, inside part of the right foot. Right hand reaches up towards the ceiling. Lift the hips up high 
Exhale, roll, thread your right arm through. Inhale. Good, four more. Really rotate that upper body, but keep the hips lifted high. Three more. And last two. And last one. Lift your top arm up to the ceiling. Exhale, right hand lowers down towards the floor. We'll take 10 more seconds here for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, last 5, and 4, 3, 2, 1. Let the knees lower down towards the mat. You can take the loops off of your back. For a moment, just grab a hold of your hands, interlace the fingers, and make figure eights. Just trying to massage the wrist out a little bit from all the flexion they just did, because we'll come into just a little bit more. From here, switch figure eights. Mine never look quite as good as they did on the first side. That's okay. Cool. Shake out the hands. We're going to adjust the flex stretcher to come around our legs just like we had it around our arms. So I need to add a little bit more length so I can fully straighten my legs into my downward facing dog and forward fold when I get there. Again, if it doesn't feel like enough tension, come out of your adjustment, make it tighter. If it feels like you can't straighten your limbs fully, readjust to make it a bit looser. So we're going to start by taking it behind our back and then one loop on the right foot, one loop on the left foot. Come onto your hands and knees. The loop should come to the inside part of the legs as we find our way into our tabletop position and then lift the hips up and back into another downward facing dog. Feel the difference of having the flexi stretcher on your lower spine. Gently assist your hips up and back compared to when we practice it with nothing on. We're going to walk the feet in towards the hands, come to the center of our mat, relax and cheer forward fold. So we have the foam of the flexi stretcher around our lower back. Mine is a little loose, so I'm going to tighten mine slightly. If yours are comfortable, stay exactly where you are. You can grab onto opposite elbows, let your jaw relax, let your shoulders relax. Really just melt into that forward fold. Get that gentle assist from the flex stretcher behind your back as you relax on over. If you're holding on to opposite elbows, let the hands drop down towards the floor. Take a deep breath in, we'll lengthen towards the flat back. Exhale, release everything down. Good, four more times. Lengthen up one. Exhale. Lengthen. Exhale. Two more. Exhale. Last one. Exhale, release the hands down towards the floor. Shake your head out a little bit. Yes and no. Just trying to relax that upper body. And then find your hands firmly on the floor and walk your feet out, coming back into your triangle shape, coming into that downward facing dog. From here, we're going to let the right leg rise up and back behind us. Toe stay pointed down, heel flexes up. Really feel the length along the left leg as you really reach this right leg up and back behind you. Step the right foot on down. From here, lift the left leg up and back behind you. Feel the assist of the flexi stretcher. Gently guide the hips to stay in that forward parallel position. Good, let the left leg come down. From here, you can either repeat that, toes stay pointed down towards the floor, or working deeper, open that leg up and rise it up towards the ceiling. From here, we're going to bend the back leg, and then straight and lengthen it long. Bend, lengthen out long. Good. Three more. Bend, and lengthen. Last two. Last one. When you lengthen out long here, Lift your right leg up and then open it wide to the side. Hopefully the flex stretcher should hook around your lower back. If it didn't, like mine, bring it back to your lower spine and come right back into that downward facing dog. Everyone meeting here. From here, we'll rise the left leg up and back behind you. 
toes point down if you found that on the right side. If not, lift the leg open. So you're opening through the hips, but keep the shoulders facing towards the front of your mat. We'll bend the back left leg. Straight and lengthen long. Good. Four more. And three. Last two. Last one. Again, from here, if you open it wide to the side, the flex stretcher should hopefully hook around your lower spine. Mine didn't quite work today. That's okay. You can let the knees lower down towards the floor. Taking the loops off of your feet. From here, we're going to bring the flexi stretcher forward in front of us. Again, just lying it flat across our mat. Come back into your plank position. Your hands are flat on the floor. Legs are reaching long and back behind you. Then step your right foot forward to the inside part of the right thumb. Let your back knee lower down towards the floor. Grab a hold of your flexi stretcher. Reach the arms out and up as you come into your low lunge. Try to square off the hips, so draw your right hip back slightly. Let that left hip come forward down towards the floor. Take a deep breath and lift up and out through the chest. Exhale, release the hands forward. Flex stretcher comes down towards the floor. Weight sinks back into your left foot. Right foot extends as you flex strongly in your front right foot. Pausing on your fingertips or exhale and release your forward body over the legs. On your next breath in, roll the chest up. Bring weight back into your right foot as you bend that right knee. Hands plant down, tuck your back left toes, length and long. Step your right foot back to meet in your plank. From here, the left foot comes to the inside part of the left thumb. The right knee drops down towards the floor, pausing for a breath. Grab a hold of the elastic center and reach the arms forward, up and out as you come into your low lunge. Again, try to pull that left hip back, right hip drops forward, so the hips are staying really square to the front of the mat. And then lift your chest up and out, find a bit of an extension. Exhale, let the hands come down towards the floor. Come onto the fingertips, let the hips sink back towards your right leg. Flex your left foot strongly as that left leg lengthens. Take a deep breath in. Either staying on the fingertips with this lengthened spine or begin to walk yourself forward. Spine still stays long and lengthen. You're just relaxing it forward over the leg. Deep breath in, bring the chest up, bring weight back into that left foot, hands plant down, right foot tucks, lengthens behind you, holding in your plank position, take a deep breath in, and then we'll lower down for five, four, three, two, one, belly's down on the floor, grab a hold of that elastic center in front of you, we'll lengthen the flexi stretcher, relax your head down on the mat for just a moment. And then again, reach the arms up and out as the chest extends. The legs can lift up and back behind you. One more deep breath in, find more length. And exhale, relax everything down towards the floor. The right ear can come down onto your mat. We'll take that one more time. Bring the forehead to the center part of your mat. And the hips are planting on the floor and really lift up through the core. So the core is what lifts the arms up and out. And then again, if you want to lift the legs up and back behind you, finding that now. We'll hold for five. And four. Three. Two. Last two. Last deep breath in. Exhale, release everything down, left ear comes down towards the mat. Bring the hands underneath you, slowly push yourself up and back. Just coming down to be seated. 
onto the heels, and then rock the hips to one side as we sit all the way down. From here, we'll bring the legs out in front of us, flexing the feet. The foam of the flex stretcher comes onto the balls of the feet. We're holding onto the metal loops. Take a deep breath and lift up and out through the chest. And then exhale as you slowly forward fold here. Again, you can keep a long and lengthened spine, or you can slowly begin to relax the whole body forward over the legs. Deep breath in, we'll slowly roll you up through center. Lift up and out through the chest. And we'll take our flexible stretcher now behind our back. The soles of the feet together. Take one loop onto the left foot, the other loop onto the right foot. Extend your right leg out to the side. Extend your left leg out to the other side. Adjusting in your middle split. If this feels really deep to begin, start with one leg at a time. You can keep your left foot just bent in here. As you work on the right, we'll switch to the other side. Otherwise, we'll all meet into this middle split. Take a deep breath in, the left arm comes up and overhead and then folds over towards the right side. Make sure your left hip is staying planted on the ground and you're just lifting and folding from the torso. Keep your feet flexed and externally rotating so the toes are reaching up and towards the back wall. Push off of your right hand, slowly come up through center. The left hand plants, right arm comes up and overhead as you fold over towards that left side. Push off of your left hand, come back up through center, take a deep breath in, pause in here. We're just gonna bend and straighten the legs a bit to find some more activation through the lower body so you can really feel that resistance of pushing in to the flex stretcher every time the legs are lengthened. Good. So from here, we're gonna pause with our lengthened legs, either staying here, take a deep breath in, just find length in the torso, sit up tall. Or if you'd like, you can slowly begin to walk the hands forward. Pause, take a deep breath in once you walk a few inches. If you want to keep going further, move the hands out. Again, pausing for a deep breath in. If you want to move further, walk the hands out. Every time you pause for a deep breath, assess where you're at. And then exhale, slowly walk yourself a little further. Pausing wherever you feel the most stretch without causing any tension or pain. Bring your hands down to the floor and slowly walk yourself back up through center. We'll let legs come forward. Soles of the feet come together. Slowly bring yourself onto your back and then let the legs extend up above. So we'll start with the feet in parallel and then slowly open up towards external rotation. So parallel and then externally rotate. Good. Feeling that rotation come all the way from the upper part of the legs, coming all the way from the hips. Pausing when you find your first position, we'll bend in the legs and then push against the resistance as we lengthen up. Good, so we're bending and lengthen. Three more. Last two. Last one. Pausing with the legs lengthen, internally rotate the legs, and then let the legs drop out a few inches away from you. As always, you can hold on to these metal loops if it feels like you need more weight onto the legs, and you'll feel the assist of the flexi shifter just gently opening up the hips, releasing the lower spine. Let your shoulders relax. Let your jaw relax. 
See if all the muscles of your face can really just let go. We'll bring the legs back up over our hips, pausing here. Slowly let the knees bend. Body comes over to one side and then use your hand to push you up through seated. Take the loops of the flex stretcher off. We are all set. Thank you everyone for tuning in. That last stretch there, the legs up against the wall is one of my absolute favorite stretches. It's perfect for at the end of a rehearsal, at the end of your day, it really helps bring the circulation down away from the feet. It really helps with inflammation. I know I have some ankle issues. It really helps me with that. Cool. So I have the comments back on. I think Jordan had requested earlier some extension work. We didn't get quite the, all the way there today. I have to plan for a lot quicker of a warm up. But if you want to tune in to Flex, sorry, Flexibility Fridays on Flex Stretcher's account, we can go ahead and work on some extension stuff there. A lot of these exercises, you'll really begin to see the benefits when you work with this consistently. So two to three times a week at minimum, and then you'll begin to see legs getting higher, extension getting better, middle splits turn out getting better. Yay, I'm so glad you guys are enjoying these. Was the last one supposed to be against the wall or is it just with our legs up? So it's called supported legs up against the wall. It's a yoga pose. It can be done up against the wall. Um, I haven't actually done it up against the wall with my flexi stretcher, but that could be a phenomenal idea because you have so much more support than just putting your legs up against the wall. But I seriously recommend every day, maybe before you go to bed, put the legs up against the wall for 15 minutes or something. And it really helps calm down your central nervous system. It helps adjust your or circulation through the lower part of your legs and it helps you really get a good night's sleep. I do it as much as I can, really. Yay, I'm so glad you guys enjoyed it. Again, my name is Rain Short. If you have any questions, you can reach out to me. You can reach out to us at Flexi Stretcher or through the DMs here at Russian Point Brand. We will be here on Wednesdays, or I will be for Wellness Wednesdays, so we'll keep these classes going for you guys. All of them are saved to our IGTV, so if you don't have the time to tune in right now, you're more than welcome to tune in through the rest of the week. Thank you so much, Russ. Yay, I'm so glad everyone is still dancing and feeling good. I know quarantine is getting what feels like pretty long right now, but getting yourself up, moving, feeling good gives a little bit more towards each day. Hello from Mexico, thank you for tuning in. Yes, so again, 8 p.m. or sorry, 8 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. Join me again on Friday. If you wanna leave in the comments anything you're looking for, please let me know. I'm here to help you guys. The tool gets so much better the more you know about it. So that is what I'm here to tell you about. The more you know, the better it gets. The more exercises you can do, the better you feel. The list goes on and on. Okay, so if that's all, I hope you have an amazing day. Go enjoy whatever else you are up to. Um, yeah, thank you everyone so much. I'm going to go ahead and sign off. I hope you have a beautiful Wednesday. Bye everyone.